As we've told you, Segundo Barrio, a neighborhood south of downtown El Paso, has been nominated by the county to become a national historic district. We take a tour and understand why it's been so special for more than a century. Many families in El Paso are rooted in this historic neighborhood, including my very own, Segundo Barrio, or the second ward. So one of the first communities in El Paso. It was the starting point for thousands of families coming from Mexico since the late 1800s. And it is a vibrant uh, population with a, a rich culture. My grandmother raised her three children here, just south of downtown, next to the U.S.-Mexico border. The working class established itself here in, in Segundo Valley. It's a typically hot afternoon in the southwest desert. Dr. Selfa Chu takes me on a journey into this historic neighborhood. The church is, is the heart of El Segundo Barrio because it congregates the community. The faded red brick church, Sagrado Corazón, or Sacred Heart, is our first stop. Founded in 1893, it is perhaps the most important to the barrio for a community that clings so tightly to its Catholic faith. The residents of Segundo Barrio tend to come to the church to not only seek for that religious guidance, but also for information. We continue our tour just a few feet away from Sacred Heart Church. The building is very important. An apartment complex rich in history. It, it is landmark that um, establishes the, the date and, and, and the person who wrote Los de Abajo. Los de Abajo by Mariano Azuela, written in 1915. It's important for the world because it is the first Mexican uh, revolution novel. Dr. Chu and I continue to walk alongside these tienditas, or stores, still open amid the pandemic. They line El Paso Street as they have for decades. Dr. Chu tells me small business is important for families in the barrio to thrive. We continue to walk and come upon the beautiful Colón Theater. And there have been uh, modifications to the structure. If we look at the details, we are going to be amazed. The theater was opened in 1919. Dr. Chu tells me it was a place for entertainment for Latino and African American communities. They uh, actually had to dress up to come to this uh, theater, usually. According to the county, in all, Segundo Barrio has more than 650 historic buildings, including Bowie High School and San Ignacio, where this photo was taken for my aunt's first Holy Communion. The people here are proud. They're proud of their roots, proud of the hardships they may have endured, proud to be from El Segundo Barrio. The nomination from the county will be sent to the Texas Historical Commission in Austin by November and will go on to Washington, D.C. to the National Park Service for ratification. The process will be complete in 2021.